Hey folks, Whip here, and welcome back to Better Minecraft. We've gotten geared up with a bunch of diamonds. So we got a diamond chest plate, we got a diamond backpack, we got a diamond pickaxe, and we've got our diamond sword. But can we get geared up with a bunch of likes too? <laughs> get it please subscribe now last episode we built up our mine entrance and found a good amount of diamonds but i did actually spend them all which is a little unfortunate but probably more importantly our number one issue of the day i played minecraft for nearly 10 years at this point and i i did a dumb our sheep are standing on dirt and coarse dirt with no grass to spread to it meaning our rainbow sheep can't produce any wool this needs to be fixed right away. Now my goal on top of this today is to actually get ourselves completely enchanted and get a really sick enchanting and potentially experience farm set up as well. But first we need to get the animal pen for our sheep. And I figured if we go right over the hill, we'll just transport them back here so they can have a lot of space to graze. We can go right down here, make a really cool spot for the sheep to hang out. Just something simple. We did get a bunch of cherries back here, which looks like we can create cherry saplings and we can grow some new trees. My dream of creating an apple orchard inside of Minecraft might actually come true, but it's gonna be a cherry tree orchard. Now, if we just start connecting up a lot of these trees together and using them as a way to build our fences, I think we can get something pretty fun back here. Maybe not the most secure, but at least it's gonna look good. There we go, perfect. That should do it for all of our sheepies. Now we just gotta get them back here, but first they probably would like some light. A quick nap and grabbed a piece of wheat, and let's take all four of these guys around. Come on, come on, my gorgeous friends. Oh no, oh no, I will zap. Oh no, zapping didn't work. Ah, not the sheep, anything but the sheep. Don't harm the sheepies. No, no, this is not going wrong. And everybody inside the brand new sheepy pen. Look at all of our beautiful rainbow sheep regrowing their wool over here. Oh, it's amazing. Come on, guys and gals, sheep kind. Look at the babies. Oh my gosh. Thank you for your beautiful, beautiful rainbow wool. Now, my friends, this is where our wee bit of an issue is going to be coming into play as I really wanted to get an enchanting setup done. And last episode, I accidentally used our last diamonds to create the diamond chess piece, which means I'm out of diamonds again, and it's quite unfortunate. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this massive, uh, just kidding, just kidding, I need another ax. I wanna chop the tree down, but uh, an ax is important. And there we go. Just like that, the tree is gone. And clearing out some of these berry bushes, we can put the cherry blossom trees right back where this was gonna be so we can start getting some cherries as some food around here. Next up, however, as we are in need of some diamonds, I wanna see if we can't tackle this tower right up here. It's been uh, scary to look at, and I've heard a lot of spooky sounds when we've been nearby it, but you know, it is almost Halloween. So if we're gonna do something spooky in this game, I guess we gotta do it now. And I will play this smart by setting my spawn right outside. Cause uh, last time I was in here, there's a lot of spooky sounds right up here. It's just another portal. Wait, that's amazing. Hold up. And a bread and leather. Oh, I love this tower. What's in here? A rainbow room with a chest with iron and bread. Why did I think this was so horrible? There's happy rainbows and things. Oh, I feel like I should not be stepping on. Oh, I just heard a sizzling. No, the chest! The block of gold, not the chest. Oh, I don't know, everything's going. Oh, that's straight up TNT. Okay, TNT is textured like that in this texture pack. That's, that's fun. <gasps> we got a diamond, yes! Oh, that's amazing. Oh, there's a zombie. Nope, 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 please nope. There are also witches up here. Oh, it's a spawner, it's a spawner, it's a spawner. Zombie spawner, okay, that's good, that's good. There's beds, new checkpoint, new checkpoint yet. Oh, I hate that, oh, I hate that a lot. Wow. Um, can't attack me straight down, can you? Nope, he can, he very much can. I kinda wanna keep the poison. I'll be honest, I kinda wanna keep it. Can we get back down? Can we get back down? Please, please, please. Or I wanna keep the witch spawner. Witch spawner would be huge. Are you kidding? We could get so much experience off of this. <gasps> what if we turn this into an experience? Oh no, let me, my loot. I will kill you with this war axe. Oh yeah, big damage, big damage. Oh, look at that. Five years later and the poison has finally wore off. So maybe we can get up here and take these guys out. Please? Looks like, oh, he missed, he missed the potion. Oh, we did it. Are we good? What's killing itself? Oh, a skeleton up here, that's not good. There are so many mob sounds up here and I am, whoa, terrified. I'm hitting them with bread, bread's not good. Golden apple, go, golden apple, go, please. Yes. Oh, thank you. Oh, golden apple is not enough, not enough, not enough. Not enough at all, okay, uh, take two. Oh, thank God our bed's right here. And they're just gonna kill each other? Well, I get my sword and armor and you just let me do my thing. 
Nope, 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 no thing. No thing will be done. There we go. We got our armor back. Let's go. Yes, nailed it. We're clear down here again. I hate everything. I hate everything. Let's just do it. Let's just get all the lights we can up here. And back down. Oh my God, we have half a heart. How did we get out of there? <laughs> I don't know what that laugh was, but it was very scared. It was a very scared laugh. I don't know why I'm doing this with one heart, but I am. Oh, we did it. Oh, that was so good. I'm a professional. All we got was three gold, a book, and some horse armor. Nice. And a potion of luck, plus one luck. What does luck do? More bread. I don't see anything up here. <gasps> nope, we're at the top. We're at the top. We're at the top. That's a regular chest. Anything underneath? Nothing. Okay. Just a glowstone up there. What do we have in the chest? I'm standing as far away as possible. We have emeralds and bottles of enchanting. Yay. So fun. Eat the bread for good luck. And then we go. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, we're so good. Killing a cod for good luck too. Nobody needs a stinking cod. Get rid of it. Back home and it's not safe at all out here. I'm running inside to hopefully find, oh, I left my bed all the way back over there. No. With the one diamond we did acquire, I think my best bet here is going to be throwing that right into our diamond sword so we can go do some more adventuring. I know we're trying to get more diamonds so that we can actually, you know, build an enchanting table for ourselves but I don't really want to go mining for diamonds as that wasn't the best route it seemed like in this mod pack here, but can we grow this guy? It's just an oak tree with cherries on it. Okay, not as fun as I was hoping for. I was hoping for a unique tree. I don't know why, but I was. Ooh, wait, I like that one more. Ooh, this is actually half bad. Okay, okay, I can live with that. But opening up our map that we have, we have those few places that we haven't fully explored being the mushroom itself, and then also, I wonder if we can go back to that original dojo that we tried fighting at to see if we can make it further now that we have some diamond gear. Spooky Mushroom is right ahead and I did just set my spawn. So I wanna see if we can't run through here and just get as many torches down around this spawner before those skeletons with the slowness arrows pop back up. And I think we did it. I think we did it. Yes, I'm too quick. I'm too quick. Nothing can stop us now. This just spawns skeletons, but they're the spooky skeletons. So I don't think I want them. I don't, I don't want spooky skeletons. Now, is there anything inside this tree or was this worthless? <gasps> a chest? Okay, I'll take it. Oh my Lord. Oh, that's a stone chest collection. What does that do? That's a stone pickaxe. I thought that was netherite. Is there anything in the top of the mushroom? Anything besides me just wasting my ax? At this point, I'm going to say no. Does collection do what I think it does? You break this and it's the inventory? It is, look at that. Oh, that's a really cool enchant. We have been blessed by another rainbow sheep on this day, so our adventure will be glorious as we tackle our old friend. We meet again. Quick second, editor flip here. The battle was not glorious at all, not at all. Oh, I'm dead. This is a bad move, very bad move. Very bad move. Since this is pretty close to a corpse run of a dungeon as I think I have ever done, I'm just gonna slowly move our bed forwards. Oh, I hate all of this. Oh, I hate this all and I'm dead. Keep running, just keep running, keep, keep running, keep running. They can't catch me and everything's dead and get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here. here. And I'm dead. Just jump off the edge, please. Oh, it's so noisy. And I'm dead. Not the babies again. No, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Too close. And now for my favorite flip sound of the day. <gasps> I don't even know how that happened. How are they that fast? I'm just running for it. Okay, spider spawner's done. It's done. No, so close. And this is a really bad spot to die. All right. I just want the enchanter, please. And we're good. I think we can leave. I think we can leave. Except I have to kill this spider spawner. If it's the last thing I do in here, oh, it's gonna be the last thing. Ah, uh, back to get the body again. Oh, they're knockback resist. Oh, uh, we lost our boots. We've lost our boots and our pants. Boots and pants and 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 we don't have any. Now that we've had more than our daily allotted amounts of deaths inside of Better Minecraft, I think it's time that we go back home and get to work on building an enchanting setup. Home sweet home. Holy cow, we've done it. 
All right, well, we're back. I don't know what we really accomplished, but now I'm officially in the starving zone, so I should probably make a lot more bread. Yep, I think I just need to harvest all these guys down. Much, much better. Okay, we've got some food in us again. And I just need to spend a little while getting this field replanted and then of course dumping all of our inventory into random barrels. Now I've got a pretty fun idea in mind here of what we can do for our enchanting setup that's a bit more unique. We've got our 15 bookshelves that I believe we need. And from here, I wanted to carry ourselves down along the way. Slowly, our village is gonna be growing outside of the hill and off in this direction. This should be enough space. Maybe I'll need to chop this guy back here too, just get the leaves to despawn. But this structure, I don't think is gonna be huge, but uh, it could be pretty big in the end. We'll see. Enchanting table goes down here, and then we just put our bookshelves around it like a so. That gives us up to level 18, and then I don't really care if they kind of pile up like this. I think it's okay with me. Oh, I should, I'll go get three more. But that does give us level 30. I'm actually curious to know if the enchants in this mod pack go higher than level 30. Looks like they do not, but we'll keep these here for symmetry's sake. And then my plan around this guy is we're gonna need a decent amount of oak to build some archways and beams. And then let's bring just a little bit of dark oak with us too. My goal here is to tackle two bees with one stone and build up a greenhouse for our enchanting setup. I think it could be really fun to have some bees flying around in here while we're doing our enchanting stuff, just having another way to bring some life into this environment. Or now for the greenhouse itself, I wanted to make something a little bit more unique than what you might see otherwise. So if we do something right around it here, it should have enough space to just have some bees fluttering around. We don't need anything too massive, just some flowers in the corners and some bees just flying around overhead. Whoa, what just happened? I went and slept and everything changed. All the leaves are orange. Wait, is it fall now? Thank you for the iron. Whoa. I'm not seeing any messages in chat besides the few times we died today, but I think, I mean, obviously something changed around here and I think we changed seasons. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. If anything, it's easier to see creepers now. They stand out a bit more. Well, anyways, moving back on with the build so this doesn't just feel like a big old circle structure, I wanted to extend this front section out a little bit further so we had just a bit more interest to it. And now to make sure we're in the theme with everything else, I think we need to just throw our cobblestone little tiles like these guys, the bricks, going all the way around the base. And then I wanna get a bunch of glass, which I need to go harvest all that sand for, but we'll get there soon. Getting the roof figured out here on the front before we start tackling the middle structure, I wanna have a dark oak trim going around this entire thing. And then from there, bringing up another small central tower structure. And then on all four corners that we have, we're gonna have this little curved archway here as well. So it makes it a little bit easier to get some light in here and we can have two layers of glass. First section in here is done. Then I wanna bring these guys coming back just a touch. And then from here, I think we probably wanna do some dirt and we do a stair. And I think this is gonna allow me to create an inner circle that'll be a three by one by three. Perfect, yeah, this does line up. Okay, amazing. Where from here, we can bring up a little bit more of the oak. And once I get a bunch of glass, we'll figure out how this is actually gonna connect down to the bottom. Cause I don't want it just to feel like it's floating. Maybe it's just coming to the inside here and bringing in some upside down stairs like this with the spruce. And we take a few trap doors just to give them something to rest on. No, I stripped the oak. Oh no. Annoyances aside, I think the next step here is going to be getting a lot of glass so we can fill in this lower section and see how it feels with the current setup. The iron shovel has been broken and a bunch of sand has been gathered up here. So I think we can get this glass going. Oh, we have a lot of iron in here. Holy cow, I forgot to throw all that stuff in there to smelt, amazing. Our valuable chest is already overflowing with nearly four stacks of iron ingots. That's amazing. A cooking pot? Wait, we have to check that out. An iron shield? A frying pan? I'm really bummed it's not a weapon, but that's okay. Sand is now in the furnaces, smelting away. And while we wait for that, I wanna grab a little bit of cobblestone over here, some of our rocky dirt, and probably a few more slabs, as well as a new iron hoe so that we can stay busy and as many corn seeds as we can find. Do we have any in here? No, but we got six corn we can use, perfect. New shovel in hand, and we need to figure out our pathway from the main road that we have all the way over to our new greenhouse. Which come to think of it, I'm really hoping right now that moss did not get this fall color change so that we can have some really bright green moss inside of there. Almost as if in Stardew Valley, the greenhouse is kind of like your perfect place to grow crops year round. 
I'm hoping we can get that lush green vibe inside. For now though, we can expand the cornfield just a touch so it actually fills this entire area that we have. And I think all of these corn seeds will be able to go down. Or we actually filled up the entire plot. So let's stretch it back over this way. If we go one, two, three, and four, and then probably drop him right in here. Perfect. This will line up right next to the greenhouse. I'm kind of loving it. Oh, we're making so much progress. Oh, uh, that's going to look awesome once it's all the way filled in here. Okay. Looks like our glass is totally finished, and I'm glad I made a bunch of extra glass over here since, uh, well, we don't have silk touch, so if we misplace it, it's just gone. Now, I think for starters, I'd like to bring the two high glass going all the way around the edge here, and oh, this is weird not having connected glass textures. Oh, I don't like it. Wow, it's been a while since I played without connected glass on. Okay, uh, that's gonna take some getting used to. But then up here, I'm thinking we just bring the glass going all the way around like this. And oh, huh. I think these two guys I need to break. And then we do this. Then up here now at the top, I'm just going to go three tall on the glass. And I think what we can do to help break it up so it doesn't just feel like a glass cylinder going up in the hot end of the sky is get some spruce fences and bring them in right into these gaps. I went back to get some wood materials. And what do we think about this so far? It's very glassy. It's very, very heavy on the glass. Okay, I think we need to fix that up a bit, but I'm not hating it. And once we get the green on the inside, I think that'll really fix it up. Oak door is in place and it's getting better. It's getting better here on the front. But next thing I think we need is to add a few trap doors and things up here to help break this up so it doesn't feel so flat along with the glass. The spruce fences on the corner here are actually working out pretty well. Yeah, that's not half bad. And I think maybe instead of three tall, we bring this one down and we start the dark oak roof from here, which I think we go something very, very simple here and just do slab slab into a stair. And then we bring this arch up into the middle somehow. Introducing a little bit of a break between the glass here with some spruce slabs. And then we can use these dark oak trap doors. I think it'll work out pretty well for making this a much more unique shape. And then on top of this, I think we need to figure out the way the dark oak is coming to the top central point. And then we just fill in the base with glass, which very well could be like this, our now tallest point in town. And then we can bring some of these dark oak posts and just slap them on top going all the way up here. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I like it. Okay, next up here, we can take some spruce stairs as well as a spruce trap door in the middle to mob proof these blocks. And it adds a little bit of an artsy flair to what otherwise would just be a bunch of glass piled up in here. Speaking of glass piled up in here, I don't I don't have much left. So let's try and be sparing. So if we do this, that's already too much to fill this entire section. Okay. Um we're going to need more glass. Exactly six more pieces. All right. Overall though, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I like that. And I have exactly six sand and a little bit more. Perfect. Now let's hope this moss works and it looks like it does. Amazing. Let's go down into the mines and bone meal down there so we don't ruin any of the landscape on top. I swear if this finds us diamonds, this is the new diamond mining tactic because I don't think ore blocks can turn into moss, right? It's only regular stones. Well, here goes nothing. Ooh, it does work. Nice. And now we just keep going. Perfect. I know people have been using this method to dig pits before, but what about for diamond mining? The blood moon rises. This is as the, oh no. Oh, I thought that wasn't in this mod pack. Y'all know how I said we died a lot earlier today? Oh, that was probably nothing compared to this. Can we sleep through it? Doggies, stay safe. Oh, you can't sleep through it. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh, sp floating particles, it's beautiful. I swear, if there are fireflies in the fall that just float around, I'm in love. Look at them. Look, there's more. What are those? Oh, geez, there's mobs everywhere. Oh, hi, creeper and invisible spider. Where did you guys come from? Yep, there we go. Yeah, just blow up the spider, thanks. I claim Sand Island as my safe haven for blood moon nights. We stay here, we stand our ground, and uh, we hopefully don't die. Oh, that is a spooky moon. Oh, yep, there's the zombie horde. Hi, everybody. How about we just stay in the water? Right down there. Yep. Finally, this annoying buzzing will hopefully disappear in the background because that blood moon is setting. The undead begin to burn. Oh, that's nice for the zombies in the water. Yay, okay. Oh, no, they're still alive over there. Yep, that's a zombie. Yep, okay. What about the creepers? Do the creepers burn? No, they're just literally, oh my God, there's four of them. 
I think on that note, I'm doing the old Minecraft tactic of run 200 blocks away, get everything to spawn away from your base, and then come home. Oh, I got a bee in tow. I just randomly picked up some flowers. You wanna come home with me, buddy? If you couldn't tell this was where we live besides the giant wall of sugarcane, you can at least kind of see the top of the greenhouse above. And that makes me really wanna get another tower up here. An observation deck over the forest would be really cool. And would you look at that? All the creepers are gone. Who needs fire to do any work for you when you can just run away? But now speaking of which, inside the greenhouse, I figured we could pile up the moss just going all the way back along here like this throw some trap doors here as a way to kind of block it off a touch we've got our chests in there that we can fill with our lapis and our other enchanting things so i was exploring trying to craft a few campfires over here and i found picket fences let's get our two campfires and then i have to see what these look like because this could be redefining our entire build style away from regular fences <gasps> Wait, can you dye these all of the colors? Nope, there's only white. There's only white picket fences. The next test, do you connect to walls? You do not, but nothing can walk in between them. Do you connect to fences? You also do not. Do you connect to yourself? You do. Oh, that's helpful. So what we could do is a little white, oh, that's awkward. It's a small white picket fence right along the edge here breaking up where we have our cherry trees. A little painful to break, but I think we're gonna be using a lot of these moving forward. Look at that, oh, I love it. Okay, let's go get the last glass that we needed. Now, it seems like this game builds a lot off of vanilla Minecraft. So I wanted to try this right here. If we grow the azalea tree, yes, 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 yes. It's still the green leaves, but they're not bushy. That's at least better than nothing over here because we can use some green leaves even though it's the fall for the inside of the greenhouse. And there's azalea logs. Wait, that's a game changer. Well, I accidentally bumped the record button, but the interior of this place is more or less decorated and ready to bring in some bees. So I just threw some flowers around the edge. We've got spaces for some beehives right back there once we can craft them and some azalea leaves have been thrown into the top. Planted up the whole cornfield. It is growing crazy fast here, so I gotta find a food source that we could use off of that potentially, because it's growing a lot faster than the wheat. But there you go, you're all caught back up. Sorry for, uh, sorry for being a bad YouTuber. It happens to the best of us. Speaking of bad YouTuber things, I should probably get some new pants. I figured out something we might be able to use all of this corn for. I don't think it's gonna be that great of a food source, but I can hope and it's very festive. To some, this is the most disgusting thing in the entire world. To others, it's delicious. Candy corn. <gasps> oh my God, that was two and a half shanks. Wait, this could actually be good. I was totally expecting this to be like a Minecraft cookie, but this is amazing. All right, I'm off to find some bees. Hey you. Mr. B, you want this flower? You want this flower. I know you want this flower. Come with me. You're gonna get real mad at me here in a minute, buddy. Oh, he's not angry. He's not angry. Are you mad? You're not mad. Oh, that's amazing. We just need one more bee and we can start the families back at home. Found another grave though. That has a bunch of copper inside of it and a few more random pieces of gear. <gasps> a spyglass. Oh, I've been meaning to make one of those. You're not a bee, you're a chicken. Where'd my bee go? I found another bee though, so that's amazing. Can I get this? Oh, this one's mad, this one's mad. Oh no. Oh, now he doesn't like me. Come on, Mr. Bee. I've got a great place for you to live. You're gonna love it. Warm 24 seven. <gasps> oh my God, it died. Oh, I forgot when they sting you, they have a chance of dying. Oh no. I found two more bees and I've got them here coming into the house with me or into the greenhouse and please one at a time through the doorway. Excuse me while I put this back and welcome to your forever home. Have a flower, have a flower. Now to get started, we can make our first beehive, placing it down right over here in the corner and they should be able to get in and out of that one. Oh, they all got out. It's because I have no glass here. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Come here guys. Come here, please get inside, inside, inside the greenhouse. Come on, the front door's open. Fly on in, flutter, flutter inside. Yes, everybody in, everybody in. Come on now, one at a time. Okay, amazing. Did I miss glass anywhere else? I don't know if I need it up there. I thought it would look cool to add a little bit of the moss on the ground outside as if like the warmth of the greenhouse is causing the surrounding area still to stay super lifelike and abundant. Yeah, that's looking really solid. Oh, I'm so happy with this. And we're at level 18 right now. What type of enchantment could we get on the pickaxe 
Unbreaking three on a diamond pick honestly doesn't sound half bad. Now I do have a full diamond pickaxe right over here that we might use instead. And we can get unbreaking three vein mining. Oh, how does one use this? I like that. I like that a lot. Now, because we keep dying, what can we get on here? Thorns, not the best. Okay, never mind. And the other one can get collection on it. We might as well see. Yeah, collection on there too. Okay, maybe I can bind these together. We get a vein mining collection pickaxe. I don't know if that's good or not, but we're gonna see if vein mining needs something to help collect with it, which this copper ore right here could work out great. Hello. Oh, I love this. Okay, so if we do combine those, now if we spend the rest of the levels I have to combine these together, Vein mining, unbreaking three, and collection. The only thing we also want on this probably is fortune, and then it's absolutely insane. I found some more copper over here, so let's test it out this time. Nope, not down the ladder. Instantly collected. Oh, that's that's a game changer. Now I have to know, is it also on stone? It is. It's also, oh my Lord. Oh, we're harvesting everything. And shift, okay, so you can shift break something and only breaks the one. That's, that's good to know. We can... We can break this guy right over here. Look at that, amazing. Get all the iron down there. Oh, we are mining so well now. Oh, this is a game changer. See this iron? Whoop. See this gold? Not anymore. How about the coal? Nope. And nope. How about the zombie? Yeah. Nope. Oh, strip mining just got so easy. <laughs> Look at this. That was like five seconds of work. Okay, and then we can break that. We get our gold out of there. We break our iron out of here. And oh my gosh, welcome to modded everybody. Where we just got nine stacks of cobblestone in a blink of an eye. Okay, things are moving up now. I had to test it out. So I came down here to the deep slate levels and just started mining like crazy. And we're just digging a huge tunnel and hopefully we'll find some diamonds on the, lay on the way. This really pains me to do it, just throwing deep slate on the ground, but in a matter of a minute or so, I got everything full of deep slate already. Holy cow, this is gonna change the entire game. Just like that creeper up there and that lava could also change the entire game, and I think that's time to turn around and go home. We've got our candy corn and we've got our super pickaxe and there is nothing that can stop us now, except if we're trying to build, we need a second pickaxe so that uh, we don't vein mine our entire build. That'd be sad. My friends, it is time to take a look at the build with some shaders on because I've done a lot more work around here and it is looking beautiful. So we're gonna look at this with some beautiful shaders on here together. You can see some of the yellow leaves in the background. We got the cornfield in the front. I've kind of worked on the upcoming walkway over here, getting this little retaining wall in. We got some more urns over here. We got some hay bales. Added in some signs and lanterns and planted some birch trees back here for some variety in the orangey colors that we have. And most of what I've done has been on the outside, just covering it with a bunch of leaves and just planting some more trees around. But once we are inside, it is magical in here. And it looks like our first honey is ready to be gathered. I did get a second one of these. I went and found another beehive that we could steal some honeycomb from, and that is amazing. But this place down here is great. We've got our whole enchanting setup that we can work on some more in the next episode with getting an experience farm rocking. And now that we've got the super pick for mining, I think we'll actually be able to get a bunch of diamonds. But that, my friends, is gonna have to do it for today's episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like down below if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're brand new. We are flying towards 750,000 subs already. So thank you so very much for that. With that, my friends, I will catch you on the flip side.